The COVID-19 deaths may seem like just statistics, but behind those numbers are real families left grieving a tremendous loss. Family members say a McCook County man who was days away from getting a new kidney died of COVID-19 on Saturday at a Vera McKinnon Hospital. Kettle Land's Angela Kennedy spoke with Troy Nelson's widow, Mary Ann, about the man and his music. I saw you yesterday. Engineer by day, music was Troy Nelson's hobby. He played the bass guitar and saxophone and was lead singer in The Cinch. His wife, Mary Ann, played the drums. In fact, that was how they met back in high school. I was the only one that could play the drum set. With him? Yeah, and he wanted me to be in his band. Oh, 1982, we had one guitar, a rennet saxophone. Nearly 40 years and five children later, Troy hadn't been feeling well. Two decades ago, he had undergone a kidney transplant, but the kidney had a congenital defect, and he was back on the transplant list. Troy was, you know, just probably days, weeks away from getting a new transplant. It may or may not have made a difference. I don't know. Instead, on St. Patrick's Day, he came down with symptoms of COVID-19, while Mary Ann and one of their daughters had minor symptoms, Troy's cough was a concern. I could he audibly hear it without a stethoscope or anything. So I knew he had, he had pneumonia and he's, he was very stubborn and never wanted to go into the hospital and I had to talk him into it. It took a few days to get them back, but test results showed he had COVID-19. Marianne was able to have Zoom calls with Troy in the hospital, but not being by his side was unbearable. I understand the need to keep people safe and the desire. However, I think keeping loved ones away from a sick person is a mistake. Marianne and her family were praying for Troy in the hospital parking lot on April 4th, when her daughter got her attention. And then I finally opened my eyes and she points up into the sky and there's these airplanes up there uh, drawing hearts in the sky. It was very meaningful. Um, it gave me a lot of peace to see that. A few hours later, Marianne was allowed in the room to see her husband, but he was unconscious. As soon as they got unhooked everything, that was pretty much it. At the very, very end, I got to spend his like very last moment. He was always worried that people would see him as weak. And no, he wasn't weak at all. He was very strong. The strongest person I knew. He never once complained about his lot in life or his physical pain or anything. He just he just took it all with with dignity. Mary Nelson has a large extended family, so she says despite the isolation, she's getting a lot of support. They will hold a memorial service when possible. Troy Nelson was 53.